So, I'm here with two of the lead developers from Ning. Um, can you first explain what Ning is about and what you do? Sure. Um, so Ning is a um, uh, platform upon which you can create your own social network for anything. So you can come there, um, don't, have to, don't have to be a super nerd or have any technical knowledge. You can just go there and create uh, a social network really for any interest or passion in your life. So this could range from you know, a small family group to uh, a nonprofit that has a cause they want to promote uh, or get people you know, aligned with, uh, all the way up to large you know, inter entertainment companies and media brands that want to you know, have an official fan club or group. So um, we are adding, uh, I think, between three and 4,000 new networks a day, so growing very quickly. And we're at about 1.2 uh, million different networks that live on the platform today. Yeah. So effectively, when Ning joined Open Social, we gained a million social. That's networks. exactly right, yeah. 1.2 million? 1.2 million. Well, I think it was only a million then. Yeah, right, 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 yeah. yeah. And the, the reason why we're here at uh, Google I.O. is to talk a little bit about Ning apps, which is uh, open social applications that live on the main page of a social network rather than on a profile page. And of course, this means we're actually building some methods and kind of changing the spec just a little bit to, to make so the open social applications make the most sense on the front page of a social network. But um, hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll be good and uh, we uh, are looking to uh, have it released sometime in the next month. Mm -hmm. um, so have you, have you got a lot of uptake from de developers on the individual profile applications um, first? Was that yeah, that, that's yeah I mean, we, ha we have. It's certainly been something that we see, like the more successful profile apps seem to be kind of more self-expression oriented, you know, some, something that makes sense on someone's individual page. You know, applications that are more universal or functionality based uh, have been successful, but I think are going to be a lot more successful uh, when, it's, when they exist at the network level. Like, for example, something like a shopping cart, I think makes a lot more sense as a network feature on a homepage than it does on someone's indiv individual profile page. Whereas something like, you know, a uh, buddy poke or a, or a game, you know, could certainly be fine on a profile page. So we're sort of kind of going to be not necessarily drawing a line in the sand. We'll accept, you know, either for either. Um, but I think we're going to definitely, you know, slide what we're calling profile apps now uh, towards self-expression and, and Ning apps towards um, you know, functionality or really um, almost replacement or ancillary features to, you know, to our existing core features. So, so the difference between apps for individuals and apps for groups. Exactly, that's exactly that's right. right. We're, yeah. we're, we're, trying to, we're trying to stretch the boundaries of open social applications as they exist yep. in right. current yeah. social network containers. And we're trying to kind of offer this new kind of option for open social developers saying, like, well, here's, here's another way that yeah. your, your applications can really make an impact on yeah. social networks on Ning. And, and I think one of the, the cool things about it um, from a distribution standpoint is that you know when someone adds a profile app, um, the relationship between the developer and the individual is is, is one to one. You know you're, you're basically saying you know join this, add this to your page, invite your friends, and then they all add that individually to their page. So you know on a network with 100,000 people, you, you're basically trying to go after 100,000 people, whether it's through virality or one on one. Uh, it can be a pain. Whereas with the Ning app, if you can lobby the one network creator to install it, we uh, can can blast it across all the profile pages. So that could be with one action, 100 new, 100,000 new users for your app. So hopefully. Developers will be excited about that. Yeah. So I think there's a there's a conceptual overlap here with the Frank Connect model, where mm -hmm. again you're building an application that embeds on a web page. Mm -hmm. I suspect developers will see both of these as, as options to, to, to build to. Yep. to say I'm building an app for groups that would work as a Frank Connect app that right. works in Inga. Yep. Right, right, so right. with us um, encouraging developers to do that, I suspect we'll see some. Support I think, and, and, and we were just seeing that too. In fact, at the some of the talks yesterday, where uh, a lot of the Frank Connect developers were interested in, in skinning their apps because they're going to be on a, a lot more you know disparate yes. containers, different looks, and that absolutely applies to us too. So I, I think there's going to be a lot of overlap. Yeah. Yeah. And are you guys working on the skinning standard with? Um, we, we, I mean, we, yeah, we, we're definitely encouraging it. Um, you know, more than encouraging, st not necessarily mandating, but strongly encouraging uh, people to take advantage. Because I mean, we we've seen that network creator response even so far in our beta period has been, you know, you know, they're head over heels in love with apps that seamlessly blend in. And it looks great. It doesn't look like it's a widget just dropped on the page. The more seamless right. it is, the more uh, app there to install it. Because you allow quite a bit of customization mm -hmm. of individual And so yeah, I mean, each network is its own. Sites, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. That's interesting. So yeah. yeah, so that yeah that, that bodes well for the spec and that you're helping drive it in that mm -hmm. way as well. Yeah, for sure. Um, are, there, are there particular apps that, that, that you've been surprised by or excited by or that people have built for Ning to run in the yeah. I have a couple. Yeah. Um, uh, Link said actually build one, uh, build an application uh, for called NewsShare. And it's basically, it actually makes perfect sense when used within the context of a social, net, uh, social network on Ning because it kind of has a dig style um, interface and functionality where users can submit their own links and people can vote it up or vote it down. Um, it kind of makes perfect sense within the context of a social network. Um, other other applications are doing surprisingly well. Uh, like Huddle is releasing a an application for collaboration software, which makes perfect sense within the confines of a social network on Ning. Um, 
couple others? Yeah, I was going to say, uh, you know, Ustream has done, um, uh, you know, I mean, certainly to date people can grab Ustream embeddables and paste them, but I think what's interesting about our implementation with Ustream is that, you know, you'll have a homepage placement, which could be like, you know, let's say like 50 Cent, for example, is one of our network creators. They could have the, the official 50 Cent channel on the homepage, uh, stream with Ustream with chat and everything, but then since it's installed on all the profile pages, those also get their own separate views. So each member could then potentially uh, add their own Ustream channel and kind of talk back that way. So all the members get their own channels and the homepage, oh, which is kind of interesting implementation, I think. So. And mar uh, marketplace applications such as Heartfly. So an mm -hmm. e-commerce an e-commerce open social application suddenly means a lot more when you're when it's put in the context of a social network because it's it, it becomes a shop it's a place of, it becomes a place where people can actually buy things mm -hmm. uh, specifically geared towards the social network and it, it makes more sense uh, in my personal opinion then when, when you put it just on a profile a page of, of a social network computer yeah. I see so it ends up being a, a conversation the group is having with itself uh, around the things they're buying yeah, yes. yeah absolutely so if you've got yeah. a you've got a sports group it'll be well here's the, the right place you wouldn't to get want to buy sports, sports right stuff. here you go yeah absolutely. exactly people recommend stuff within the, the group yeah, yeah. So that, that makes a lot of sense. yeah it's like the, it's like the niche store model meets the niche social network model so I think it's going to be yeah, pretty powerful hopefully. I mean it has it has a lot of, of huge potential mm -hmm. we're kind of hoping that that'll kind of be an incentive for developers to, to kind of seriously invest some time to, to porting their open social applications yeah. for, for social networking. Right. Yeah, no, I mean, we, we, we use it for open social network, for example. Yes, yes. We, have a, yes we do. Our own social network of social networks. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a it's, yeah, it gets a little meta, so. So, um, what, stuff, what stuff have you found at I.O.? What kind of inquiries have you been getting here? What kind of inquiries? Just uh, well, we've been, we've got a lot of range of uh, different developers. So a lot of a lot of people that are built building things on different things, unrelated to open social, are kind of coming in, learning about Ning for the first time. Yeah. I think we're, we're just recently doing a big PR push. Mm -hmm. So so we're kind of first off getting our name out there helps a lot, especially in terms of the brand identity, but also in terms of talking about open having developers build open social features for us. Um, on an open social level, I think we're definitely trying to get our name out there. Um, definitely the, the, the High Five and High Five and Orchid are definitely kind of the go-to um, uh, open social containers. And for good reason, because they definitely are at the top of the game in terms of version, like being the 09 sandbox for open social. Um, we also, we're also, one of the reasons why we're here is to also kind of uh, remind developers that there's other kind of containers out there, not necessarily just for the, uh, just for the profile, but expanding on the profile yeah. page and maybe kind of putting something in their heads that like, well, if, it may, if, if what you're building is more appropriate for a kind of a group setting, a, 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 to, for, to be on the main page of social network, maybe you should think about building for us and that would be awesome. Mm -hmm. and, and that way right. we win, of course, in that you get, you get, uh, we get, awesome feature but you guys win because all these networks have the opportunity to add your application and yeah. you get brand exposure right. and no, this, is, this is something I was saying in, in the Ignite talk yesterday was that trying a lot of these things grow very organically and you're not quite sure where the apps will take off and where yep. they won't right. yeah. I've heard some of those stories from the app developers right. and I think you provide um, multiple opportunities for the thing to be seeded into a new place and to yep. grow that way yeah that's but, the hope yeah. so yeah so we'll see and for, and for the network creators too, obviously, you know, there have been, I mean, a lot of people we've targeted or gone after uh, to, you know, to get these Ning apps in from launch, uh, you know, have been based on feature requests we hear from network creators. You know, Ning offers, uh, you know, 10 or 15 features, but we've heard time and time again, you know, I'd love to be able to uh, do new, new, new style ranking, I'd love to do, be able to do e-commerce or live video streaming, things that, you know, we may eventually get to, but it's certainly not on our short-term roadmap, and so now to be able to kind of patch these holes with these, you know, great right. third-party offerings is going to be great. That, that yeah. was always part of the goal of yeah. Open Social, yeah. was that the, the social networks get new features exactly. and build themselves, yep. and the developers get a platform of a set of users they yep. can expose so. this stuff to without having to go and gather that. Exactly. So there's a mutual yeah. benefit going on there. And the users are sitting in the middle of saying, oh, yeah. the social network just got more interesting. Right, exactly. So we're going yeah. from 15 to 100 features, and that's, that's going to yeah. be an exciting, <laughs> scary oh, wow. yeah. kind yeah, yeah. of, and it's, so, so, so we'll see kind of all happens, and this is all, it's all completely new, and yeah. we're, we're excited. We're very excited. Cool. Yeah, for sure. Excellent.